Tim has come to meet a man who specializes in capturing extraordinary visual phenomena. Author and photographer Ed Derrick chases mirages around the world. The way it'll start, like it did today, is I'll be driving down a road. I'll notice that the conditions are right for a mirage because I'll see them on the road. You'll see the typical sort of water mirage where it looks like there's water. Once you get up to it, it's not. And what causes, you know, that sort of shimmering effect? What, what causes that? Most people, when they look through the sky through clear air, they just think, oh, it's clear air, there's nothing there. It's not the case, it's a lens. And how much it will distort or affect the, what the viewer sees of an object can vary depending on atmospheric conditions. To demonstrate how that lens bends light waves to create a mirage, Ed brings in a helicopter. Okay, come toward us at maybe 10 knots at 5 feet AGL if you can, over. A pilot is a pilot. He operates the aircraft. They're not up there observing science. They're not up there observing the atmosphere. It was either glaciers or icebergs or something that were visually lifted relative to the expedition. I've observed mirages where it looks like there's distant mountains that just don't even exist. I was in Alaska toward the end of the summer, and I just saw wisps of green, and I thought, oh, wow, what's that yellowish green? And then I realized, wait a minute, that's the aurora. A glory is an interesting phenomenon that I've photographed, and it occupies just a small space of sky. The light is low enough, and all the shorter wavelength light has been absorbed or scattered. You're going to have this overwhelmingly crimson, dark red, blood red rainbow. And I've seen one in the Yukon. It was one of the most spectacular sights I'd ever seen. I looked over in a valley, and there was a red rainbow. In fact, it was a double rainbow. And it was very intense light, beautiful a rainbow with light that comes not directly from the sun, but reflected off the moon, and a moonbow will appear as white to the naked eye because it doesn't have the intensity for us to see the colors in it. But if you have a camera that's sensitive enough, you will indeed see that it's a regular rainbow. A flash of green. When that occurs, the viewer may see very briefly for less than a second to maybe one and a half seconds long what appears to be very brilliant green, a very pure green light. I think a lot of people feel that the green flash is, a, is just a myth because some people see it and some people don't. Views. On the summit of Mauna Kea in Hawaii, I photographed a triple green flash just kept shooting. So it's just a progression as the sun is setting relative to me at that time, going through just the right atmospheric conditions to produce not one, not two, but three green flashes. But sometimes, eager photographers think they've captured a green flash, but find it's eluded them. 